My name is Craig Bettendorf, and the guy to my left is Kai Morgan, my partner in production and in life. We, along with a team of extremely talented individuals, have created a television series called Treading Yesterday that is now in development. As filmmakers and as members of the LGBTQ community, we take presenting our stories to the broader audience seriously. Our stories have meaning, our stories have value, and our stories help to shape public opinion. These stories are spoken in our words and heard in our voices. It hasn't always been that way. Children who need to be taught to respect traditional moral values are being taught that they have an inalienable right to be gay. All of those children are being cheated of a sound start in life. Yes, cheated. If something exists, there's usually a reason for it. They constantly portray abnormal sexual behavior as being normal. They glorify unnatural sex acts. They tell youngsters that it's smart, it's thrilling, it provides kicks to be a homosexual, a sadist, and every other kind of deviant. Things don't just come into being on their own, do they? Are all the sodomites and the lesbians and the sadomasochists and the rapists, are they going to repent and turn to God in humility? Is one of them going to do it? What then is the reason for homophobia? Studies show that no society that has totally embraced homosexuality has lasted more than you know, a few decades. So it's the death knell of this country. I honestly think it's the biggest threat, even that our nation has even more so than terrorism or Islam, which I think is a big threat, okay? What purpose has it served and who has it benefited? Who is responsible for the death and destruction caused by it? What does it say about us as a people that our culture and society continue to perpetuate it?